Russian energy company Gazprom has followed through with its plans to reduce gas supply to Germany through the Nord Stream 1 pipeline. Germany's gas network operator confirmed that flows have dropped to just 20% of their normal volumes on Wednesday morning. The cuts will make it difficult for Germany to fill its reserve tanks before the winter. Germany is already at the second stage of a three-level emergency gas plan. Further cuts could trigger rationing. Germany's cabinet is expected to address the energy crisis at its meeting in Berlin today. So let's cross now to DW Chief Political Correspondent Melinda Crane, who's at the Chancellery for us, where this meeting is taking place today. Uh, Melinda, what does this reduction mean for Germany now, and how is the government responding? It means that the country is indeed facing a very severe gas shortage, uh, both now but most certainly during the winter. And the government has been working on a number of different fronts. The very popular climate and economy minister, Robert Habeck, who today is, as vice chancellor, leading the cabinet meeting in the chancellery behind me. He has been working tirelessly to wean this country off of Russian natural gas, both by seeking to diversify supply, for example, by building liquid, uh, floating uh, liquid natural gas terminals in the North Sea to receive gas deliveries from other countries, also by ramping up coal production. Not easy for him as a member of the Green Party who came into office uh, swearing to ramp up renewables renewables and wean the country off of fossil fuels altogether. And he's also been looking to persuade Germans to cut back on gas consumption, for example, urging people to shower less frequently and for shorter times. Last week, his ministry presented an energy security package that would see temperatures, thermostats turned down in public buildings, that would see workplaces uh, keeping uh, the temperature cooler and also, as you said, that foresees uh, possible rationing to industrial customers in the event of severe gas shortages. Now, the head of the country's distribution network, he says that they are seeing signs that both firms and households are cutting back by 5 to 7 percent compared to uh, normal consumption. But he said that that certainly will not be enough going forward as we move into the colder fall and winter months. Melinda, anything else we can expect to hear from the cabinet meeting today? Well, absolutely. You know, energy efficiency is the absolute low-hanging fruit. Beyond uh, taking fewer showers and turning down the thermostat, the one thing that people can do in the short term is to renovate buildings, uh, for example, replacing drafty windows and doors to make them more energy efficient. And that's why at the Cabinet meeting today, ministers have been discussing a new 14 billion euro fund that would serve support households and firms that take such measures to boost energy efficiency. And that is going to be absolutely essential as Germany continues to face cutbacks in Russian gas supply.